Uh, it's a global pre-accelerator program uh, that we're helping bring to Pittsburgh. Uh, the hope is that we're going to um, help accelerate uh, the trajectory of early stage entrepreneurs into national accelerators, uh, if that is the, the right for their business and life situations. Um, maybe uh, garner investment, again, if that fits what their, what their uh, business is doing uh, and the time <clears throat> that they're in, or uh, simply getting faster to revenue. Um, as a viable outcome. So uh, we do that through a six week sprint uh, where we uh, bring in um, other founder slash operator mentors, um, a whole new diverse uh, set of new faces and names um, to provide uh, network context and some connections to resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think you said it well, Kit. The only thing I'll add, I guess, is just, you know, it's pretty obvious, thanks to anyone who uses the internet, that uh, barriers to entry for all kinds of products and companies are ever decreasing. So it's uh, you know it's really about opening up and diversifying the early stage of the talent pool and the mentor pool and the the whole ecosystem in general, um, in in pretty much you know a consistent fashion, just doing that repeatedly over and over. So mm -hmm. you know when we started, there was no. There was no accelerator programs. Now there are accelerator programs. Now we have pre-accelerators. Beyond that, there will be something else. Right. Um, but as things get easier to undertake and uh, more and more people start to participate in the programs, they need some of the structure and, the, as Kit mentioned, the network mm -hmm. um, that a lot of especially underserved uh, communities don't have, uh, which are really kind of uh, accelerants to success in these, in these realms. So give me an idea. You know, I'm familiar with the Alpha Labs and the startup weekends and kind of the different levels of, of um, aspiring entrepreneurs or, or, you know, startups or, you know, I have an idea. What do I do next with this kind exactly. of stuff? Right. Yeah. Like like which, you know, what level of people in the startup realm are you are, are is this kind of a fit for? Well, I mean, I think you, you gave the, great, the greatest context you could. So, um, what is it? Eight years ago, I helped bring Startup Weekend here mm -hmm. sort of as a tool in the community building efforts. Um, and at the end of that, you know, you, you win this competition and you're sort of like, now what you, you, you're like just you're 54 hours beyond idea. It's not really a thing yet. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we want to help the companies that are like just beyond that inflection point where you're a real thing, you're in market, but you're pre like material revenue or investment. Mm -hmm. Um, there's that really, you know, like a uh, vulnerable point in uh, company creation and, and adoption and, and, and bringing to market where, Either you know, especially if you're if you're if you're coming out of if you're starting a company and you're leaving um, a corporation to do this, uh, you're coming off a of campus, you're new to town, or this is like a new uh, field for you, a new sector. Um, you know, you don't know sort of where the the ground is is sturdy and what's your true north. Um, who are the right people? What you know, even the words. Um, you know, how do how do I do my pitch correctly? Um, and then access to uh, customers and investors is is paramount. So. The hope is to provide network around that um, with a bunch of people that are uh, building it or have recently built it that can speak from experience, can answer, um, you know, can provide advice in the format of um, when I did this or something like that happened to me, I did this, mm -hmm. you know, um, and we're doing that. Uh, it, it kicks off on April 2nd. Um, right now we have an application uh, session that's open till March 15th. Mm -hmm. So open applications. We'll select the cohort between the 15th and April 2nd, and we'll host it for every Tuesday night uh, for six weeks. Okay. And how many are you looking to uh, bring in? Uh, we're looking for about six to eight teams, optimally. Okay. Uh, team, kind of a loose loose term for, mm -hmm. you know, a founder, a co-founder team. Um, but we're flexible. So, and just to add on to what Kit mentioned there about the program being part-time, after hours, uh, you know, that really does lend itself to the niche that we're fitting into. Because if, if someone's in an accelerator at this point, or they've, they've taken serious investment, six figure, seven figure investment, then they're in their groove. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. This is what they do for a living at this juncture in time. Yeah, a lot of the folks who are going to be good fits for startup boost are kind of in a, a funk and not sure where their fit might be. They may still be at to, to kids point, they may still be at a corporate gig. They may still be going to school. They're not sure, should I finish, get my degree, this, that, the other thing. Mm -hmm. um, so in that sense, we're a good fit for those folks. And I think that's where a lot of the, the benefit is served. And that's also part of why the program is successful, because it is part time and it is after hours. Mm -hmm. um, so that you don't have to tick that box that most uh, accelerators would be looking for to say, you know, can you do this full time? Can you give up on all your other stuff? So. 
how far from a typical group entering into this, how many people are past ideation and into proof of concept or past proof of concept and have a somewhat polished product? That's a great question. So, so uh, we're probably not polished yet. Okay. You're beyond idea. It's a thing. Yeah. Okay. It's a yeah. Thing. Um, you've gone out and talked to people and asked if your thesis is correct and you've began to build some service or, or product around that. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're still early. You're still in the customer discovery phase. There's no product market fit. Um, and so the, the, uh, this initial spring cohort is meant to um, a uh, match you with some mentors that have some relevance um, to some of the needs you may have that, that are most glaring. Uh, provide accountability to your your fellow uh, founders in that cohort over the over the month and a half. Um, get you live fire um, pitch practicing. Uh, we're going to bring in outside investors from outside of Pittsburgh <clears throat> under the understanding um, they'll hear your pitch of your real thing. Um, the, the incentive right there is not to provide to write a check yet, but to give you real investor feedback. Okay. Um, and then we want you outside of the, the um, Tuesday night sessions to be talking with actual customers and being held about, accountable by not only the mentors, but the group itself. Cool. So it's definitely homework. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so where can people uh, find out information about this and apply and then, and, 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 you know, find all the details? Yeah. So startabooze.org. Uh, if they want to get straight to the application and get going, startupboost.org slash apply. Uh, we'll get them to the list of cities that participate in case uh, anyone's listening here. You would assume it would be Pittsburgh. Uh, if they want to read more about the program itself in general, then startupboost.org is where they want to go and, and get mm -hmm. started. And this, this is purely a, a Pittsburgh regional operation going on here? This cohort is, yeah, it's a global uh, initiative. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of spans from Dublin to LA. Um, this spring cohort, I think there's I think there's seven or eight other cities, New York, Toronto, Dublin. Um, and you know, we're, we're, the hope is that we're, we're taking this global initiative and, 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 and hopefully it meets uh, Pittsburgh where, where the rubber is, you know, hits the road right here. Um, we're going to iterate on that as you would uh, in any, you know, um, nascent initiative. Um, our belief is that exposure to um, new mentors, uh, keeping you accountable, you know, to, throughout that, just you know, putting your nose to the grindstone for a month and a half on working on this to put it into market. Whether you want to get that to an, to a, a national accelerator to uh, maybe raise some money, or a, a totally valuable and and viable outcome is, hey, maybe just make money and and, and go hire some people and mm -hmm. and make a profit. Maybe that's the outcome, and um, it, it gets you to sort of reflect on that too. It's a it's a volunteer led program. Also, it's worth noting if we didn't already that it you know we don't take any fees or any equity. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great sandbox of playing in that sense. And to echo what Kit said, um, you know, for a lot of people, it's just not for them. Running a company or being an entrepreneur is not for them. It's not uh, a glorious thing to, to be done by any means, regardless of whatever movie or article you read. You know, it, um, is, it has definitely been glorified in the past <laughs> several yeah, years. So For sure. So, you know, this is a, at the very least, this is a good experience where you don't have to uh, basically burn all your bridges at your corporate gig or at your campus or wherever the case may be, or with your family um, <laughs> to, uh, to find out, you know, like, okay, this is, this is something I can get into the groove of or not. So. And in addition to the, 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 the ways you can ca contact us online, um, we're doing citywide outreach. Mm -hmm. um, try to do at least one or two every Wednesday on, you know, in, in uh, libraries, co-working spaces, accelerators, kind of pockets of community. Um, mm -hmm. We, we, we really want to, um, hope to encourage underrepresented founders uh, to join this. Um, mm -hmm. The the whole uh, ethos of this is is um, we want to remove the excuses for entrepreneurs to start and provide resources and network and context when they do. That's good. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of great ideas. And there's definitely a lot of resources out there. And, and Pittsburgh's definitely, you know, I mean, it's one of the, 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 the cores of why we started this show is sure. we saw that stuff happening with the Alpha Labs and the companies and before Google and everybody build fancy offices in town <laughs> so sure. uh so it's really cool to see another tool like this uh as well it, it, and definitely call uh, me a tool <laughs> <laughs> i mean well, i admit it because that's only the third time today so. <laughs> well you know uh sure. but no it's been it's been a pleasure i know i've, I've gotten to um be around uh several startup weekends and seeing that and, and it's cool to see even companies that have literally kind of came from nothing